Does your child reverse some of his letters or even some of his numbers? Well, in the next two minutes, I'm going to review with you the significant signs of whether this will be an issue or not for him. Let's talk about a concept for a minute called size and shape constancy. It's one of the first rules that we teach our children, whether we realize it or not. And quite simply, it can begin with an object like your coffee cup. As you sit there one day with your little boy or little girl, you have lunch and your little one asks, Mommy, what is that? As he points to your coffee cup and you explain to him, Oh, that's Mommy's coffee cup. I use it to drink my coffee. And then that passes without much thought. And the next day, you're back in the kitchen with your little one, and he points to your coffee cup now that is over on the drain board and is sitting on its side. And he says, Mommy, what is that? And you say, Oh, honey, here, that's my coffee cup. We had talked about it yesterday. That's what Mommy drinks her coffee out of. But that's my coffee cup, whether it's on its side or straight up or upside down. Size and shape constancy then simply means that an object is the same object, whether it is right side up or upside down. And we teach that very early. We need that in our world to have constancy. Now, a year or so later, as they start to learn letters, we begin with a letter A, teach that letter, we move quickly on to letter B, and as we move forward, by the time we get to the fourth letter, we have violated the rule of size and shape constancy, because you can see that the lowercase b and the lowercase d are exactly the same object but just flipped. And that violates our size and shape constancy rule. So for many students, a two-dimensional letter on a page that is upside down or reversed is too confusing for them. But we make it even worse. We get a little further and we get later in the alphabet and even the P and the lowercase q are the same as the b's and d's. And we even go further yet when we get to our single digit numbers and with sixes and nines we've created havoc because they are very much the same. And so when your student reverses letters and or numbers it can be a warning sign, but do not be concerned with letter reversals until your student is in mid-second grade. Now at that point, if there are consistent letter reversals, you may want to consider a visual perceptual evaluation by a qualified behavioral optometrist. The evaluation is easy. It's usually about 45 minutes or so. There are no eye drops or medications used. It is completely non-invasive, and it will give you a lot of information. There are a few other signs you can look for that may tell you that language arts is going to be a little bit of a challenge for your child. These include difficulty learning new letters, delays in speech, or if your child is lear slow at learning new words. You're bound to have other questions, so feel free to email your questions to me at redapplelearningcenters at gmail.com.